Did you know that Chrome extensions are actually profitable? This is a market with a market size of $208 billion. And you can be one of the people who are earning using Chrome extensions. You can start from as low as $5 and then later on it can go up to hundreds and thousands of dollars per year. And if I scroll down, you can see that there are a few examples like 85 here, which is earning $540,000 per year. And there are tons of different other examples. And this is not the only place that is claiming that Chrome extensions are actually making a lot of money. If I go to extension pay, so these extensions range from 130K per month to all the way into millions if you can build an ad block. But of course, it's not gonna be that simple. And I'm not saying that you're gonna start earning this much but we can start really small, let's say 100 or 200 dollars and scale that up gradually as we pace into this market. And for anyone to be a part of this market, they need to know programming, which means they need to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But I'm assuming that we don't know anything about programming and we want AI to do everything for us. So in this video today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make ChatGPT write all the code and then put that code inside VS Code here and build our very own extension, which I will be loading here later on on my browser and actually test it out. So without further chatter, let's dive right into it and start building our very first basic Chrome extension. Hi, and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamriz, and we're getting to the fun part now. So I'm gonna go and start building the conversation here. I'm gonna ask GPT to suggest me ideas about Chrome extensions that I can build. So I went on and asked GPT to give me basic and simple Chrome extension ideas. So here are the ideas. The first one is gonna be a new tab page customizer. But what caught my eye here is this dark mode toggle because something similar was built here which is called Night Eye and is making $3,100 per month. So why don't we try to build something similar? So I'm gonna go and build a dark mode toggle here, which can add a button to toggle dark mode on any website. So the core features are going to be toggling between light and dark modes and having a simple UI button in the Chrome toolbar. So let's get on with it and go with idea number two here. So this time I told GPT that I like the dark mode toggle Chrome extension and can it give me a step-by-step -step guide on how to build it. And there you go. It says that you have to set up a directory, like you have to create a folder, which is going to be named as dark mode toggle. So I'm just gonna go and do that. Later on, you will have to put all of these files inside that folder. So before going to step two, let's complete step one first. So I'm just gonna go to my IDE and I'm gonna create a new folder here, which is gonna be called dark mode toggle. That's it. The next thing we want is we want these four files inside my folder. So I'm just gonna go and copy this. So manifest.json. I'm gonna create a new file here, which is gonna be manifest.json. Then we have popup.html and popup.js. So let's go and create them. Popup.html here and one more popup.js. Now the last file that we need is the style.css. So let's just create that here. And there you go. Now we have all the files that we need inside the directory. So our directory is all set. Now let's move to step number two. In step number two, we need to create the manifest file. So all we have to do is just copy and paste all the code from this manifest file right here. You don't need to know much about programming to do that. Just simple copy paste, right? So let's just do that. So inside my manifest.json, I'm just gonna go and paste that here save that now one more thing that we need to make sure that we have the icons folder which contains these three sizes of icons that we are going to show on the extension bar for our icon so because our extension is about dark and light mode toggle so i'm just going to go and create some icons for that and to create these icons i'm going to use this website which is favicongenerator.org it is really a great website and I just posted my source image here. Let's create our five icons. And there you go. All of your five icons are actually generated. We can just go on and download them. And they are downloaded right here. So these are all the icons. But we need some specific icons. So if I go back to my manifest here, I need a 16 by 16, a 48 by 48, and a 128 by 128 icon. So let's go and find these icons there. So there you go, we found our 48 by 48 icon here. I'm just gonna go and rename that as icon 48. Let's leave that as it is. 
and the next one we need is a 16 by 16 icon and there you go this is the 16 by 16 icon so i'm just gonna go and name that as icon 16 here the next one we need is a 128 pixel so we don't have a 128 pixel but we have this one here so i'm just gonna use this instead let's go so we have all of our three icons now so let's just copy all of our required icons back to our extension project and we need to create an icons folder here so i'm just gonna go and name that as icons and i'm gonna paste all the icons so there you go now we have the icon 16 the icon 48 and the icon 128 so now that we are done with step number two let's go with step number three which is to create a pop-up html so i'm just gonna go and copy everything from here and paste that inside the pop-up.html file in my vs code which is going to be right here let's paste that save that and now it is time for step four which is to add the javascript functionality so let's copy that and paste that inside the popup.js file and let's save that now the next thing is to add some styling so i'm just gonna go and copy all the css from here go back to style.css and paste everything save it now that we're done with all the code what we need to do is we need to proceed with step number six which is to actually load your extension into chrome and you can do that by going to this link which is chrome extension and you can open that up by clicking here and going to extensions and manage extensions so once you're here make sure that you have your developer mode turned on so that you can load unpacked files let's go and click on load unpacked and let's navigate to the project folder which is going to be right here the dark mode toggle let's select that folder and there is a really small error but as i said at the start of this video we don't know anything about coding so let's go and ask gpt for this error so i'm going to ask gpt that i'm getting an error on step six and i'm going to paste in that error so there you go we get two different responses and it's all about checking the naming conventions and the directory and i actually went on and rechecked everything and there was a small mistake which is when i was naming the icons i misspelled the icon 128 name so that's why this error actually occurred and that is how actually development works it's all about trials and errors so now that we have everything resolved let's go back back here on our extensions i'm gonna retry this and there you go it's actually working so let's reload this first and let's actually go and pin this there you go we get the icon which is really lovely so now that we have our extension loaded let's actually go and test this out so i'm gonna go to wikipedia here let's go and pin our extension which would look something like this a really good icon and now if i click here you will see this ui although the ui is not that great but we can style this using chat gpt and ask it to enhance the css quality but for now let's check out the functionality so if i click on toggle dark mode as you can see yep it's working we can toggle so that is how simple and easy it was to create your own google chrome extension within just barely 10 minutes and we did this without any coding knowledge everything was done using chat gpt and we just followed all the steps and we created something similar to this night eye extension here which is earning up to three thousand one hundred dollar per month so this means that we can be one of these indie developers out there and start earning using our builds that we just create using ai so this was a really cool adventure for me as well but if you want me to go in depth into the chrome extension building and make a whole series for this let me know in the comment section below i would love to accommodate your demands but for today i think this is more than enough if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring